build up on the filter. And it can take forever if it builds up. Um, but this should be pretty quick, about two minutes, a little yeah. later. And, and I guess we should also say the cold soak part of the name, you soak it in a cold bath for 16 hours. Mm -hmm. And then after it's been in the, uh, the bath, it's at 4.4 degrees Celsius. Don't ask me why they came up with a 4.4 .4 degrees <laughs> Celsius. Uh, it's actually, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so where it came from. But, um, it's in there for 16 hours, and then our stuff turns solid because the cloud point of our biodiesel is higher than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, is B100. So it actually turns solid in the bath, but then you warm it back up uh, to basically to room temperature, and you have certain time limits that you, that you have to do that in. And once it's warmed back up to room temperature is then when you go across the filter. And the idea there is that uh, in some biodiesels, and we learned this a lot with different feedstocks early on, that you can have impurities that will precipitate out when it gets cold, but then when it warms back up, they don't go back into solution. And that caused a lot of filter plugging issues uh, two, three, four years ago in Minnesota way back. So this is a standard that came into play in 2008 and then got delayed in implementation until sometime in 2009. But I'm happy to say that we've been compliant with it since uh, since before the first schedule implementation of it in late 2008. All right, so the sample, which was already cold soaked um, and prepped, um, y'all didn't want to wait around 16 hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and we we have the backing started and a timer ready. You just pour it through. Timer. You gotta keep an eye on it. So cold soak, you just put it in the refrigerator? Or? Basically, yeah, a cold water bath or um, air chamber, yeah, refrigerator. And the reason for the development of this test was you mentioned up in Connecticut, you have to know what the cloud point of your fuel is so you know it's gonna work in the winter in your truck. And we, we found that with some biodiesels, if they weren't processed properly, you could have a cloud point stated on a piece of paper. And it'll, it'll work fine at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, right. but there are some minor compounds that would come out and log the filter at maybe 52. So it was an adequate predictor of when the fuel would actually gel. So this test takes care of a lot of those problems. Well, that was the yellow grease issue, was, which has a, has a higher temperature. Mm -hmm. In some so you brought the sample to what was it, 40? Yeah, from 40 degrees F, and then it's warmed back to room temperature. That's why it's liquid again. Ours would be actually solid. So you're supposed to chill it and then let it come back. And then yeah. you run it. It's a cycle, a cycle. And then your essentially your result is the time. Right. When your sample is completely. So the limit is 200 seconds. We'll be seeing about 100 seconds. And what was the quantity? Um, 300 milliliters. Is the filter a new one every time? Or? Yeah, you use a different. You um, actually prep the filter in the um, oven, dry it, and then you let it back to cool right with the um, environment again. So if, if you all get a batch tested somewhere and um, they do this test, the number they're going to give you is time. Mm -hmm. Right. There's um, They're going to say it met, it was 190 seconds or whatever. Right. So you, you'll get a time, and if it actually doesn't pass and it takes longer than 12 minutes, They'll give you a volume in that filter. So, say this had been 12 minutes and there was still 150 milliliters left, you would measure that and you would say it did not pass. And you say, how, with so the, how much? With, yeah, how much uh, volume milliliters? So, what was this one? This one was 114 seconds. So. Pretty typical what we see. 